Hey YouTube, uh, today uh, I'm actually not reviewing anything or, you know, I mean it's obvious from the name up there, but uh, I want to show you this. Uh, this is a gun that I built myself, it doesn't fire or anything, uh, but it's just like a prop. It's supposed to be some kind of futuristic laser cannon thing. I wasn't really sure when I built it. Uh, this is actually made out of one of these in airsoft form though, you know, not a real gun, uh, but an airsoft one of those, and uh, basically it was broken, it was completely totaled, the battery wouldn't work, it wouldn't even fit, you know, so I took all the guts out of it, the motor, the inner barrel, uh, you know, everything, as you can see, and uh, I came out with this. Uh, now, I wanted it to be sort of uh, suitcase gun looking, like for example in Robocop 2. Uh, that kid had a sweet uh, suitcase gun in the scene where he busts up the rogue police officer. I mean, if you've watched the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but this uh, is the handle, and it's it looks more like a shotgun than uh, what I intended it to be, like a submachine gun. But uh, there's a sort of a pin right here. You can see that uh, only because I showed it to you. And when you take it out, you can do this. That looks cool. Huh? So it's basically uh, some kind of submachine gun. Uh, I don't know I don't know what to call it at the time that I'm making the video. The what I've called it is up in the name right there. Uh, probably like an acronym or something. But uh, if you have a better name for it, which I mean of course you do, I mean you have your opinion. Uh, please post it down in the comments section. I mean, I might uh, change the title and then, you know, you know something. But either way, uh, this up here is an M16 handle. Uh, this right here is one of those, uh, what, the rail covers? Rail covers, right? Not really. Anyways, so that's basically the cheek rest. And uh, down here, this is a foregrip that I took off my M4. Right here is an iron sight that was already on this thing but it works as the trigger I mean just for looks I don't intend this to shoot or anything because you know this is a prop you can see that the orange tip's gone um, the bolt though does work you can see that Hello. Uh, so basically what I intended uh, was for a magazine to go here can you see that let me turn it right there uh, just behind the handle uh, kind of like a bullpit weapon and it would obviously fire through here so it would be uh, sort of the loading mechanism of uh, say a Thompson I guess uh, and it would you know just come out the port right above where it was loaded and uh, it would just work like that um, it could also go with like a chain feed or it could load here but and uh, the shells would be ejected downward but that's a terrible idea because I mean that's where your wrist is I mean, if you've ever taken a hot shell like down your shirt or something, it's not something that you uh, want to have happen. It hurts. Um, but, uh, yes, this is also a prototype. It's really flimsy. This back piece right here is holding the entire shell together. Uh, so, yeah. This is basically the weapon that I built for prop and all that. So, uh... Yeah, if you like the gun, uh, please give me a thumbs up in the uh, section below. I'd really appreciate that. Post a video response of any uh, gun that you've made yourself that you're proud of or uh, from when you were a kid if you're an adult and, you know. Uh, also, with the whole, you know, if you have a better name for this, I'd really love uh, to hear it. So, please, even if you don't really have an idea, I mean, go down in the comment section, read other people's. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, them. Because uh, I love uh, you guys. You guys are the whole reason I'm doing this uh, all the time. And I'd love to n have your input. This is signing off. Right? Yeah, that's my thumb. Yeah.